Tell me if this is familiar to you, and it's going to be depending on your age, but here it is. You're a little bit younger, you have so many big dreams, you say, I'm going to go to school, I'm going to graduate from school, then I'm going to get this amazing job, then I'm going to start my own business, then I'm going to start piling up money, and I'm going to have a lot of friends and a lot of relationships, and people are going to admire me, and I'm going to just be so amazing, and you just have these dreams and visions of yourself as a young person, and you have such high expectations, and as you grow you actually do get some success and that makes you feel amazing because no matter how small this success is and this contrast that you created in your life is, it's better than when you used to have just dreams because now you're making things happen. But also as it happens and as you grow, as you start to feel amazing and happy, you realize that things are just breaking down. No matter what you do, things will start to break down at some point. Something's gonna happen, uh, a monkey's gonna throw a wrench into the operation, and it just kind of slows down and breaks down, and you make the discovery that you really can't stomach, and that is, it's not permanent. You discover that man plans and God laughs. And this can be in the form of not really getting to the expectations that you wanted to get to, or maybe having it happen very, very slow, or you might lose your job or you lose your business, whatever it is. Life is like that. You get sick, you, you lose people you love, things like that. Yeah, you're younger and you feel like it's just gonna like go and get better and better and better and better. And then as if as if you didn't even know that life is like that before it starts to break down and you panic familiar i'm sure it happened to a lot of people and a lot of people in this situation when they discover that you see them trying to actually get things back on track which is natural and reasonable you want to remain happy and successful and you want to start you keep achieving things what i learned from this from having these experiences is that you can't actually do something so that you can be happy, okay? What I mean by that is happiness is not a destination. It is not some situation that you go to and that's it. You're going to be happy forever. It's simply not the way it works, okay? Basically, life isn't straight, it just does this, like this, all the way, all the time, right? And you ride high, and you slam down low. And the harder you try to actually resist this, this nature of life, the more difficult it's going to be. It is a positive experience if you accept negative experiences. You're just going to have more peace with them. And that is something that I think we should all learn and do. Okay, I want to give you an analogy of how this thing works, actually. Okay, so I think happiness is not, is not, basically happiness is not normal. It's not normal. And it's not where you are. It's like there is normal. And then sometimes you get happy for some time, then you get back to normal. Sometimes you feel sad, and then you get back to normal. So there is a state of neut neutrality that you're not happy, you're not angry, you're not sad. And you kind of just shift into different feelings and moods, and then you get back to that. Now, of course, you want to maximize feeling good and being happy. But this analogy is interesting. If you look at the circus, they have this amazing juggler. I'm sure you've seen this guy. An amazing juggler who juggles and at the same time he's standing on this circular thing that at the bottom has like a half moon shape and it just keeps moving him around and what he does is listen to the language listen to the words he moves into balance right so as he's juggling he's constantly moving so that he can keep that balance right this 
is analogous to how life works and what you need to do so that you're happy, right? It is not a destination. So it's not one thing that you do or like I do this and this and this and this and that. And then that's it. I live happily ever after. There's no such thing. It's only in fairy tales where people live happily ever after. In real life, sadly, because we exist in life so that we can complain that it sucks, right? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> the, the thing in, in, in life is you need to move into happiness. So you got to keep making new moves based on the things that happen to you so that you can get to this level of happiness and actually keep getting this experience as much as you can. And it still ain't gonna be possible because man plans and God laughs. But basically this is the perspective that I want to offer because I noticed that myself, I'm not, I'm not right about any of this. I just notice things and I have conversations with myself and I spit them at the camera right here. That's right. Spitting at you right now. <laughs> okay. So yeah, well, well, back to what I was saying. I noticed that People think that you do things, one, two, three, four, succeeded in all of them, and then you're just going to be happy. But it's not like that. You have to keep working to be happy. And you're still not going to. But you can be as happy as possible and as live as good as possible. I could talk all night because it also requires a definition of happiness and what makes you happy and that sort of thing. But hey... How about we make that for a different video? Let me know what you think about all of this. Does that make sense? Does anything I'm saying make sense? <laughs> uh, if not, I'll just consider them video diaries and journals. I understand what I'm saying. I'm finished. <laughs>